Hi, hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I wanted to go ahead and kind of show you guys the new character I'm going to be playing around with. <clears throat> now I'm not finished with the Death's Earth character, I just think it's fun to, you know, make multiple characters in a free-to-play game. So, uh, this character is going to be a Baron Summoner. Um, Baron Summoner because I've never really played around with the Baron before and last time I tried to play as zombies the AI just felt really clunky. However, <clears throat> with the ability to get additional zombies with the Baron and uh, minion speed a lot easier via Puppet Master and just more zombies in general uh, with the new Necromancer changes, uh, I'm really curious to see kind of how it's going to work out. So we're going to play Necromancer mainly again because of like Puppet Master for increased movement speed and uh, the like attack speed and minion damage. We're also going to get Invoker for Convocation, cooldown recovery speed and some life regen. Uh, for the minions, Flesh Binder for the juicy physical mitigation, and since we're playing zombies, we've got the Zombie Slam, 100% increased AoE, the cooldown recovery speed, and plus two max number of zombies. And then our Uber Lab is, I'm not really sure, either it's going to be Soul Weaver for the, for the current Spectres we're using, or maybe Commander of Darkness, uh, or potentially even Mistress of Sacrifice. This one is obviously up for debate, depending on what we do with the build. So this isn't really like a guide, I'm just letting you guys know how the character is currently progressing. You can see nothing is too expensive on my character, even like the 4 off-color Baron is really easy to do if you just use the Verici Jeweler method. Um, I'm just using like really shit random gear like a Life Sprig that doesn't do anything. But I just want to show you how the character currently performs. So here's a red pissed off mob, you can see he's, he's getting smacked. Uh, I don't have EE or any curses on yet either, and EE and curses will make a significant damage increase. Uh, but for now, I just haven't really needed it at all. Everything pretty much dies, like, instantly, unless it's, like, that guy. Um, so part of the design and reason why I wanted to play Baron Summoner is because I'm really curious about this. With at least a hundred or a 1k strength, 2% of zombie damage is leached back to you. And I think that that leech is going to be really insane. But to, um, to make sure that my character survives, you need to make sure we have, like, an effective life pool. And I thought the best way to do that is to play something like Baron. Um, because Baron is going to allow me to scale strength, which scales my life, uh, and then scales the zombie damage as well. So I'm playing with Solar Guards right now, because Solar Guards have extreme amounts of uh, area of effect, which is what my zombies are going to lack. Even though they will get the, um, they will get the jewel, not the jewel, sorry, the 100% AoE on Slam. And you can always use Vis, not Vis Mortis, uh, Montregal's Grasp, which Montregal's reduces the amount of zombies you have by half essentially doubles their base physical uh, and then gives them like uh, kind of infernal blow whenever they attack they can go boom boom on the guy's corpses uh, but the problem with using mantra goals and i could totally be incorrect on, actually i'm not incorrect on this this is how the game works but if i have 14 zombies or 12 zombies and i have that to either six or seven i'm losing six or seven percent mitigation on physical which is not too much of an issue but um, the other thing is that since you're having the amount of zombies, you gotta remember that zombie AI is not very smart. Like you can see these guys, like they're they're not really very intelligent. So um, you're kind of cutting their intelligence in half. And the other issue is that when you cut down the amount of uh, zombies you have, you're actually slowing down the hit interval between the zombies because you're not doubling their attack speed, which means that your leech intervals are gonna be slower. And the reason why I want to play this is because it's going to be cool, because say I get stunned, my zombies aren't going to be stunned, they're going to go to town and just smack anything that's hitting me. Uh, and then I'll leech based off of that. So we'll be messing around and seeing, you know, really what we like to use and stuff. But for now, I'm really happy with just this leveling setup. Now, if you want to get Solar Guards, uh, since I think Solar Guards are absolutely ridiculous, I've never even used them before up until now, but if you want to go ahead and get Solar Guards, all you got to do, because they're not available until like Act 9 or something, just find a friend who has Solar Guards, like someone who's, you know, played through the game already, and uh, you can have them raise Solar Guards, and then they can just desecrate them in their hideout, and you can go to their hideout, and you can just pull them up. Or they can just go to a low-level zone and create the zone for you, and then you have Solar Guards to level with. And once you have the Spectre here, you can actually just desecrate it, and you'll see here, let's see if I can pull one up. Don't do this to me, game. Here we go. So yeah, it's a Solar Guard. So you can actually just play through and keep, so if one dies, you just summon them again. And that's good because you'll just keep scaling with the level of them, so you don't have to worry about them only being level 20. So that was really cool. Uh, also, this laser attack that they have, I mean, he literally just shot a whole entire, like, he shot from a whole screen away. Their, their, like, aggro is absolutely insane. Like, it's so crazy compared to the zombies, so it's a really nice, like, uh, mix in between them. 
I'm not really sure on what uniques I'm gonna use. I'm not sure. I know you guys are gonna ask me a shitload of questions. The answer is, is I'm not really sure. Uh, as you look on the side text, this is the first time I've played Baron, and I just don't know where I'm going with the character yet. I think it's a lot more fun to, uh, you know, build my characters from scratch, see where they go. Uh, you see the mistakes in them, you realize what the mistakes are, you build against them, and then you realize what not to do next time. And I think that's cool because that's, you know, I don't use Path of Building and that's where a lot of the fun lies for me is learning from your mistakes because that's how I've always been. You know, if you don't make mistakes the first place, then you're not going to be able to learn from them because you never made the mistakes, right? Um, so we're going to see where this character goes and hopefully if all goes well, uh, I may even do some bossing on this character. I can't promise that, but I just feel having like... I don't know, zombies with like 20 or 30,000 HP leeching for me while I just have to sit in a corner cursing. Sounds pretty ridiculous, um, as long as I don't get like one shot. So I'm pretty curious to see how that works as well. Um, I also don't really know what auras we're going to run. At the moment we're just running like Hatred and Purity of Elements. Um, just because Hatred is great for the Fizz since we are using, you know, Fizz zombies and we're scaling Baron. Um, and the, I think Hatred actually works for the la the the solar guards as well. Uh, I could be incorrect on them. I don't know exactly how to scale them. Just to go over everything here, just to show you, I'm aware there's a leech cap, man. That's why I explained at the beginning we're going to play a life-based character and we want to get our life as high as possible. So um, we're currently using minion damage, raise specter, spell echo, GMP with these guys. I was also leveling with the phantasm gem. I highly recommend you guys to try out phantasm. It was a lot of fun, but I just noticed that these specters are just so strong it's not worth sacrificing a link for them. And I've just got a simple uh, Matua Tapuna with melee physical, raise zombie minion damage, and they destroy pretty much everything. I've got Wall of Brambles just because high armor. Actually, need to quality this. Bones of Allure just to get an extra Spectre out at the moment. Magnate because it gives 50 strength and we get the all res since we have 400. Um, Medjinor's Vice just for strength. And the important thing to note is kind of what we've done here. Uh, I'm currently using an efficient training right here to convert all of the intelligence into strength. We're also using another efficient training here so that we can make use of specking out this way. Uh, this also converts everything into strength. Uh, and then I've got, the reason why I picked up this jewel is for the unending hunger, because unending hunger requires you to have 40 intelligence, but since I'm playing Baron, I don't want to like replace it here because that's a really, you know, that's a core spot for me to get strength, right? I mean, if I take the jewel out, I lose 100 strength. So in this spot here, you actually get the 40 intelligence because you're going to get the 20 plus 25, 35, 40. And remember, you don't have to allocate the nodes. So anyway, that's pretty much about it. Just wanted to give you guys the rundown of the character. Here is the tree again. Um, bandits are obviously going to be kill all. And that's pretty much everything I've got at the moment. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Uh, sneak peek for people who made it this long in the video. I'm probably going to be checking out Vermitide 2. Uh, Vermintide or however you pronounce it. I really like instance-based RPGs and didn't know it was like... It looked so fucking cool. So I'm pretty excited to check that out. Um, we'll probably be checking that out. Let's see, what's today? Sunday, so next week, definitely. So I'm going to catch you guys all later. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Remember, if you liked the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash box. I think I just repeated that twice, Kappa. Anyway, hope you guys have a wonderful time. I'll see you boys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.